Hey everybody, it's Beatologist. We're back once again with another solo sortie. Let's go ahead and see what our challenges are for today. Okay, we've got mobile defense with augmented enemy shields, rescue with assault rifle only, and defense with energy reduction. Oh good. This is like a perfect storm of awful. Um, so hopefully we can get through that last mission okay. The other two I'm not concerned about. Let's, um... Nope. Nope. We're doing it solo. Almost, uh, disastrous there, but we fixed it. Okay. We're back. Alright. Um, yeah. Then again, if the last episode was any proof, um, I think maybe when I think something is gonna be awful, it actually turns out to be just fine, and, uh, vice versa. <laughs> It definitely seems to be the case. That uh, that last boss fight, oof, that was embarrassing. Is probably too kind a word for it, but uh, it's all right. Let's go ahead and get started with this. So we are going to get some energy here. Um, Build up uh, our reserves because we're going to be activating our um, healing beacon thingamajig, our uh, our restoration to keep us keep us alive, and we'll be needing a lot of energy for that uh, because we're also going to be using the uh, crowd control properties of the hollow ground that Oberon has to uh, prevent people from you know attacking us, confusing them basically. Speaking of being confused, that was definitely a locked door. Alright, pardon me, folks. Nothing to see here. And here we are. Okay. Okay. This is a nice area for the, uh, for Hallowed Ground. It kind of covers the, uh, all the ways they might come after us. And the uh, viral damage that we do with the Spulman, uh doesn't really care about their shields um, since it cuts their health in half. And the slash damage will uh, eat right through that as well. Let me try the uh, secondary though. This seems pretty good too. Yeah, I like the way I like where this is going. Still working on it. Continue to defend. Need to put down some more hell ground though. Yeah, that healing is definitely going to come in handy with the uh, the defense mission later. Since, uh, in case you're not aware, in sorties you don't defend you don't defend a um, a static like structure. You have to defend a person who likes to walk around and uh, get themselves shot on a regular basis, which is. Not great. Okay, so we're just gonna ignore that person and uh, move on with our lives. Oh, actually, before we do anything else, let's get rid of that nullifier. Any, any chance you can get to um, take one of those off the map, go ahead and do it so they don't follow you around. And, um, oh, pardon me. There we go. Destroy those scanners so you don't run into uh, traps like the electric... Uh, <laughs> the electric sprinkler system, or the uh, those uh, gas traps that like to pop up. Yeah, there comes a point when you're hitting them with this weapon that they just um, that it just sort of uh, cuts through their shields and all their health is depleted. Try the um, reckoning. Okay, so it did quite a bit of damage to the uh, Moa, at least. Hold on a sec. Whoops. Um, just want to check and make sure that. Okay, we we are recording. Wait. Okay, we are recording. I was, I was concerned. I saw a message pop up, and uh, I wasn't sure if recording was still happening. But it is. It is. No worries there. There's a map off the screen there. Yeah. Okay. 
definitely want to use the um, the Fulman's alt fire to get rid of these nullifiers. Um, when you're attacking nullifier shields, you remember it's about uh, quantity, not quality, for damage. Okay. Lots of tiny hits as opposed to big ones that. Uh oh. Okay. Well, we just activated the shock thing. Can we destroy this? Yeah, okay, we can. Cool uh, explosion effect on that. Okay, well, there's the gas. Don't worry about that since we're going to be up here. In fact, it might maybe affect... Okay, can I just say, this is uh, probably not OSHA compliant, the location of this um, security system. <laughs> I don't know what they were thinking with that. <laughs> Yeah, uh, we're not too worried about losing shields. The um, amount of health regeneration we have with our uh, third ability is absolutely absurd. Still working on it. Continue to defend. Looks like the he's just gonna chill out up there, I guess. And we're gonna come down here. Oh, okay. I mean, not really had much to defend against, to be honest. It doesn't look like this can take damage from the electrical trap. Okay, here we go. Alright. Okay. The odds were against us, Tenno, but we did it. Mission complete. Hmm. All those slash procs. Okay, and that's it. Just gotta exit. I'm not run into any more uh, security scanners along the way. Good times. How am I doing? Oh, I'm doing really well. It's a Friday, which means I always get out of work a little bit earlier, can come home, record a video before it gets dark, which then frees up my evening to do all kinds of good, good stuff that I have to take care of. Yeah, if you can swing it, definitely try to get a job that will let you uh, set your own hours to a degree. I understand not everybody has that luxury, and I do feel bad for them. I really do. Okay, so the next one's going to be rescue. So this will be a good kind of test um, for what we're going to have to do later. Because with rescue, you always have to, of course... Um, Save, save a person. Um, it's just that in rescue, you have to just quickly sprint with them to the exit. Uh, yeah, unlike with issues, Tano, defense, where it's a much more drawn-out affair. Okay. Not a problem. Not a problem at all. The reduced energy thing actually might work in our favor. I mean, we're not going to be able to use uh, Hallowed Ground as much, but... The fact that we, like, our, the, the costs of our energy, of our abilities, don't go up. It's just that we have reduced maximum energy, right? Um, so I, I don't think it'll be an issue. There is a prisoner here that is vital to our operations. Yeah. Search for the holding location. Yeah, we can only use our assault rifle here. So I'm probably just going to keep it in auto fire mode. Because that does seem to be the most effective against uh, the corpus. Unlike with the Grenier, who would probably uh, would probably want to use the uh, semi-auto, the uh, silenced mode. The enemy is on high alert. The moment you enter the holding area, for there was a time when I was using the uh, Fulman with Ivara in her stealth and just using the silenced the mode. Is out of time. It's kind of an interesting way to play. Okay, so we're already here. So we have to get to one of these doors. Mm -hmm. Thank the stars, not a minute too soon. Is that it? You've yes. The okay. Escort the prisoner to the extraction point. Let's confuse all these people. Take care of the rest. Don't suppose you have an extra. I'm very curious to see how far the radius of our healing aura extends. Because it looks like uh, the, the rescue target took shield damage. 
but its health really her, her health really hasn't gone down all that much. So that's good. Um, yeah, easy. <laughs> all right. Now again, I I preface this by, you know, showcasing my dread at the third and final mission. So we'll see if it um, lives up to my expectation of it. If not, well, then this is going to be a, an incredibly short video. Oh, and I did craft a new Zaw to use with the uh, Riven that I got last time. Um, well, I've crafted the pieces. I haven't put them together yet. But yeah, it'll be a crunch um, pole arm. So we're going for maximum uh, damage, maximum crit chance, low speed, low status chance. We want to um, raise that up as much as possible because the Riven I got uh, has a lot of range on it. So that's cool. So we're going for those big swinging attacks with um, Maiming Strike for as long as <laughs> as long as that lasts. Melee changes, of course, incoming. Let's see. Defense. We did finish some energy pads, so let's make sure we're fully kitted out. Okay. Yep, we have some other specters that are um, equipped, so... We'll deploy one of those for sure. Okay, defense time on Phobos. Okay, so I'm guessing this is going to be one of those big open areas. Yeah. With um, not a lot of cover, right? <laughs> Good. That's what I was hoping for. Let's see. Okay. Wow. One of those is all we need, huh? Okay. So we'll see how this goes. Give you the catch moon. Stay in range of them. Okay. So if they hit me, I'm getting going to get energy back from uh, Hunter's uh, Hunter's adrenaline. Right? So that'll help. Which will allow me to heal both myself and the uh, defense target. Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> Come here. Come here. What? Okay. So what I'll want to do is, in between missions, just deploy one of those. And then, uh... And it looks like they start taking damage again. Use that. Stay alive. Ah, oh, man. So many snipers. So little time. So we just took a whole bunch of damage, uh, both of us there. Let's see if I can pull this off. Yeah, okay. Yeah, those those grenades they throw really hurt. In case that wasn't clear, that's what that's what dropped the uh, the defense target in one hit. Okay. Then again, the catch move that he has, uh, that I've given him, is pretty dang good. Okay. Oh yeah, I need to deploy my uh, my friends. Definitely. Let's see, Get some Clem action going.
Yeah, never feel ashamed if you have to use uh, specters or uh, clem clones or what have you to uh, to complete a mission because that's what they're there for. They're there to be used like this. <laughs> I like using uh, mag on this particular map. Because uh, if you time, if you angle it right, you can just pull the um, enemies off the edge. What? Come back here. There we go. Cool. The, the, the oh, the target ran all the way over here. Let's make sure we join them. They like to hang out in this uh, back area, which is fine if they would just do a little bit more consistently. Of course, it does make uh, grenades more difficult to deal with, so hopefully we don't have those. Charge. But yeah, the Fulman has unlimited ammo. You just have to let it recharge once it runs out. Just takes a couple seconds. It's not under threat over here, is he? Okay, no. Alright. Mag, I'm not quite sure about the placement of this uh, magnetized bubble. It's a little tricky to shoot those guys over there right now, but. You know what? I appreciate the, uh, the effort. And the pulls. That's always good, too. Uh, I guess the, um, yeah, the infested ancient that I summoned, just running around, having a good old time. Okay. One more enemy over there. Nope. Our, uh, rescue target took care of it, so, excellent. Okay. Probably should have given Mag a different set of weapons. The um that one that she has, the Sarpa the was it, the the Supra. Is not necessarily the best against um Corpus. It's much better against the Grenier. With all the puncture damage it has. But she seems to be doing pretty okay with it. <laughs> I forgot what I modded it for uh, elemental damage, but seems to be working out here. Okay. Okay. Cool. Make sure we have everybody uh, constantly following us. Looks like the rescue target is still back here. I'm not really going to complain about too much. It does create kind of a nice bottleneck the enemies have to run through. Uh, halfway done now, yeah? Pretty good. Just had the one death at the beginning. <laughs> Cause you gotta have friends. 
if you find yourself getting low in energy, don't hesitate to just sort of run into enemy fire when you have your, um, your, uh, renew, or what, what is it called? Renewal. Yeah, when you have renewal active, uh, you can just run into enemy fire and get uh, health back and energy back, too. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just, you know, pick pick a place you want to be and just stick there, okay? And you for all this running and mucking about, as they say. Good, very good. Again, the uh, amount of damage we're doing is <laughs> somewhat small compared to what we could normally do, but just because of uh, how high level these enemies are. Kind of just phase through the wall there. Maybe that was a uh, a mag pole gone wrong. Still back there. Okay, okay, okay. We join them. Oh well, wow. climbed up there. Nice, uh, nice, neat hiding spot. I like that. Sword and shield. Oh, there's going to be some guys coming from over there. Oh, no! That's bad. Our Phoenix Renewal kicked in, saving our life there. Thanks, Phoenix Renewal. Okay, come on. Stop flying around. There we go. Did like a Lephantis sound there for a second. Okay, that was what I was trying to do before, but uh, failed to execute and kind of just fell off. What's happening to the uh, defense target over there? Taking some damage, it seems. Wow. Oops. Alright, well, we're just gonna have to stand up and do it. Normally, it's better to do it in, in uh, kiddo mode to uh, prevent yourself from taking any damage, but we'll just. Uh, with the traditional way. We weren't in that much danger in that particular spot. 
Phoenix Renewal, coming in the clutch. Yeah, these guys do a lot of damage, huh? few dudes over here. We only have uh, one wave left. Excellent news. Oh, one other neat uh, touch you should definitely think about getting is um, the growing power. It's, it's an aura mod. Basically, whenever you inflict a status effect on an enemy, you increase your um, power strength for, by a certain amount. Which is one of the reasons why we can get away with um, not including as much power strength on this build. Which will, uh, you know, do more healing and just make everything more effective. Kind of want to stay close to the operative because uh, in this last wave, the enemies are going to be extremely high level. They're all going to come this way? No, it looks like there's some coming over here, too. Man, they look like they're all kind of caught up there on the other side. There. Probably because of Mag. Oh, hello. Nope, we don't want any. Go home. Got recharge. Oh, all these knockdowns, man. Uh, Scrambus. We're definitely getting close to the end now. Combo. Okay. There's probably another one out there, too. Yep, there's one. Okay, it's nullify our healing, which is extremely bad. We need to stay out of the range of that. That should be it. Yeah! Woo! <laughs> and we got some endo. 4,000 endo. Very nice. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. See, it was tricky, yeah, but it wasn't as difficult as I thought, and it did help that we summoned all the friends. <laughs> Alright, well that does it for this week. Another sortie has been soloed. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and uh, subscribe for more Warframe content. We release another video once every day. Hopefully we're getting better about that uh, upload schedule. And thank you again for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.